Chapter 25, Episode 1 The craziest thing happened yesterday. The taxi you were in turned into a killer robot? Sarah looked at Susanna. She had a funny way of being funny. What? How did you know? It was all over the internet. Sarah gave Susanna a killer look that would make most people stop breathing. Susanna just smiled. Okay, what happened? I met her doubles. Sarah saw that Susanna was paying attention, waiting for an explanation. I was visiting King David in the park, and I saw you and me, not you and me. So two girls that looked like us? Right. And they moved like us and looked at each other like we do, and I think, what the hell? We'll follow them. You and King David? Yes. At the entrance to the zoo, I told her I liked her pants. The girl that looks like you or me? Remember we saw those two girls in the city? No. She had those unusual, beautiful leather pants. She made them herself. Did she tell you that? She did. And that she lived on a farm. Oh, where? I forgot to ask. Well, you know what the white rabbit says. No, what rabbit? Oh, Sarah, sometimes I get the feeling you come from another planet. What did the rabbit say? I don't remember now if it was even him. Just get to the point. Susanna looked at Sarah and wondered how preoccupied she was with the girl with the leather pants. Something about a one in a million chance thing happening most every day before breakfast. So you don't think it's an extreme coincidence? What are the chances that a bunch of elements from dead stars should get blasted by a supernova to turn them, tune them so that after billions of years they get together for a star and a few planets. One of those planets goes through great disasters that prepare the way for mammals to take over the surface. Had the asteroid been a little bigger, it might have been too much. Had it been too small, not enough. One in a million is nothing. It's normal. Not normal is normal. In most, it's most common. What are the chances of cellular life on a planet? What are the chances of surviving for four billion years? If I break the bitch's face tonight, I'm going to tell her it's your fault. Susanna flopped gently into Sarah, and Sarah had to embrace her. You should have invited her to your fight. If I get another chance, I will. I'll make you look at the two of them. Do you ever get the urge to punch me? Sarah squeezed. No, I sometimes get the urge to not let you go.